I am one of those people who has tried and failed to incorporate self-care habits into my life many, many times in many, many ways. Yearly, I would buy a new journal, a new planner, I would download a new app, I would try anything that I could to get my life in any degree better. And it became more difficult within the past couple of years because I experienced burnout. I was then bed bound for a large period of time and I needed things that would allow me to track my progress so I wouldn't get depressed thinking that I was making no progress. But I was finding it very difficult to find things that actually worked for me. And then a little over probably like two years ago, I picked up the app Finch. And it has been one of the only things that I have ever been able to stick with for a particularly large amount of time. And it has helped me in a number of ways. And I think one of the biggest ways that it has helped me is because it's a self-care app that is actually targeted at the type of people that need self-care, the type of people that are experiencing burnout, the type of people that are experiencing a mental health crisis, the type of people for whom just getting out of bed and getting a shower and brushing their teeth is something that is an achievement that should be celebrated because it's something that they couldn't necessarily do every single day before. And with a physical journal, a lot of times I would just lose it or I would sit it aside or I would stop using it. And with a lot of the apps I felt that they had this expectation of perfection there would uh, there would be achievements that you could only get if you did it absolutely perfect every single day or the things that they considered worthy for their to-do lists were things that I was not capable of doing like I'm sorry getting out and like going to the spa is not practical for me in terms of my self-care and it definitely wasn't when I started out so that things that were trying to target that kind of a mindset were not okay with me one of the things that I did realize is that it was a lot easier for me to do things for myself if they were linked with care tasks for another person or another being. It's really easy for me to remember to do my birds medication every day because I, I love them and care about them, I guess, probably more than myself. I can't necessarily always remember to do like my own medication. So for me, I've tried to link those tasks together. And when I saw the app Finch, and specifically when I saw the fact that the point of this app is that you are taking care of yourself and you get things for your critter, your Finch, when when you take care of yourself and that makes it easier for me to motivate myself it makes it easier for me to get excited about it and the app is a lot less penalizing a lot less punishing it is designed for people like I said early who actually need self-care who actually need to focus on improving their habits and taking care of themselves better and loving themselves better so it can be a little widget on your phone screen so that makes it a little bit harder for me to forget uh, especially because I do use my phone numerous times a day and the fact that it is a very cute aesthetic definitely keeps me hooked I love that you get a bunch of different like cute things like sayings and you, they wave at you and there's just a lot of things that are cute about it. It is easier for me to do things if they add a little bit of cuteness, they add a little bit of everyday magic to my life. And as you can see, I have a 128 day streak. I There are very few things that I can confidently say that I've done the last 128 days in a row. I'm pretty sure that there are days that I have not necessarily eaten in the past 128 days, but I have definitely at least checked in in the morning and looked at my finch and overall I've been using this finch for I think over 400 days total and I did I had an account on another phone that I didn't end up transferring over yeah so one year two months that I've stuck with this 397 adventures 397 days that I have participated on this and like I said at the very beginning the aesthetic is extremely cute and it's not just an aesthetic thing too your finch actually has a personality there are little role playing and dialogues and stuff that you go through there's a lot more to the finch it reminds me kind of almost as like early stages of Neopets. There's a lot of things like that that I love. Um, and so chat with my Finch. And this is just a cute little interaction with them. I want to try sending a letter cheap, but I'm not sure who to write to. And there's two options. You can find a pen pal and exchange letters back and forth, or you can write a letter to your future self. And depending on the things that you choose, your Finch is going to develop their personality in different ways. And it's interesting because like there's a cat that you meet at some point in the time. And sometimes your Finch is going to like the cat the first time they meet it. And sometimes your Finch is not going to like the cat the first time they meet it. And if your Finch doesn't like the cat the first time it meets it, the next time they meet the cat, they may be like, oh, hey, you know, like I misjudged them the first time. It's really interesting how well the Finch like remembers and develops and actually feels like a real character. This is very fleshed out. And in addition to just like the personality of the app, they use their app in a way that is designed to mirror things that have studies behind it, like breathing exercises and grounding exercises for things like anxiety and dealing with PTSD and trauma and stuff like that. These are all things that are scientifically, there is, there's proof to them. So I'm going to say you could write your letter to your future self. And 
and I got 2.2 compassion to that because that's a really good thing to remember when you are compassionate to yourself it becomes easier to be compassionate to others if you don't think that you deserve things it makes it a lot easier for you to think that other people don't deserve things and also there are different locations to explore my finch is currently in Vancouver but let's look at the actual meat and potatoes of the app as you can see I have a bunch of different goals different people use this different ways but my reaction my response to stress is freeze state um, and I have kind of trained myself to when I feel myself going into a freeze state when I feel the stress increasing I really go and I look at my Finch app and in addition to having things like film so long London that is a task that I need to do today and like morning bird mistings the things that I need to remember on a daily day-to-day -day -day basis there are also things that are like embroider I am the writer of my own story what makes me unique is what will make me succeed things that reading them multiple times a day acknowledging them multiple times a day are better for my overall perspective of my health it's better for how I handle my my emotions when I'm stressed and like I said when I feel the stress coming on this is a great app to kind of get a to kind of a, almost get a, a rescue and your friends can come visit you I'm gonna have a friend come visit me it doesn't do this every single time you log into the app but like once an hour or so when you go into the app it'll ask you on a scale of frowny face to happy face how you're feeling and if you're below like the middle happy face it will immediately take you into first aid mode you can also trigger first aid mode manually by hitting up in the corner like this little little guy here up in the corner and then going into first aid kit the first aid kit has been one of the most tremendously helpful things for me and I think it's one of the features that doesn't get brought up enough about people discussing this you can see up in the top corner I'm hoping that my my screen recording might be in the way but up in the top corner it has a link to a helpline you can get on on the phone with a helpline it also has things that are like more grounding tasks naming your emotions 333 rule like I said to ground you from anxiety there are breathing exercises anxiety breathing processing grief five to one technique there are a bunch of different things that it'll present you that you're like okay will these things help me if i'm feeling panic i have panic breathing right there a lot of times when i'm going into a fight or flight freeze fun whatever reaction i do not have the mental capacity to do the things that i need to do to get myself out of that state and the problem with that is that i will linger in that state sometimes like for months at a time because i'm like this weird semi-functional free state but i'm not fully engaged with the world i'm kind of just dissociated away and this actually gives me the techniques that i need when i need them so that i can get myself out of a bad situation into a more stable situation where i can take care of myself more actively again and i'm not just reacting and responding to situations with everything that has been going on recently this has been one of the most tremendously helpful features of this app just being able to go on here and be like i'm upset about something oh rant zone I, I need to rant about the things that are upsetting me right now but back to that menu that you can get to the first aid kit from obviously you have goal ideas like i said different people use the goals different ways i know a lot of people like finishing their goals every single day i don't necessarily i don't benefit from that as much i don't need the screen to be completely empty for me to feel like i've got stuff done i just need to be able to scroll through a list when i'm not like when i'm like how do I get myself right again have a list of things that either a I need to do so that jogs my memory hey you cannot stick in this freeze state and forget about your birds you need to take care of your birds or hey you can't stick in this free state forever why don't you go practice guitar that's going to make you feel better there are a variety of different things that I both need to get done and that will help me to feel better so that when I'm not able to like make the proper decisions for myself make the logical right decisions that are going to be better for my long long-term well-being that I don't just sit and wallow in the same state forever these allow me to actively get in there and process the emotion rather than just being in a fight or flight freeze fun whatever I'm going to say F or F from now on because I know that everybody responds differently. My specifically is freeze, but I know some people fawn, some people fight, some people flight. It's a variety of different responses for different people. I also have things like first stomach meds, second stomach meds, so I don't forget the medicines that are harder for me to remember to take. Those I have to take like 30 minutes before a meal, so it takes more of a jogging to remember it than just the medication that I take at the same time as my bird's medications. I also have reminders to rest and relax. Now, right now I have these stated pretty 
directly, but one of the things that I've seen on Reddit that a lot of people do that I think is very beneficial is writing your goals or like especially your self-care things as you deserve rest. Would you like to take a nap? Because some of us, like I have PDA flavor of autism and for me, sometimes if something feels too much like a demand, when I was first using this app, when I really started using it in the beginning, having like nap on my to-do list, it felt like something that I needed to get done. It felt like a demand and using that phrasing, at least for the beginning, was a, it was really integral in making me realize I need rest. I deserve rest. I deserve relaxation. I deserve hygiene. I deserve clean teeth. I deserve all of these things. And that is the reason I should do them. Not because like I'm obligated to do them or because society expects me to do them, but because I am a person with dignity. And because of that, I deserve to have my needs cared for. And I think more broadly, that's one of the things that I love about Finch. There are a lot of different ways you can use this app. There are a lot of different approaches that I've seen people do, but there's a very vibrant and involved community involving both Finch the app and people that are making it and developing it themselves where they are really trying to actively give people the things that they want and the things that people will benefit from but also a community of people that are using this app and are using it specifically in a way that is both mental health and neurodivergent support focused that a lot of us need like a lot of people when you are coming to a self-care app you are not coming to be getting instructions that you need to be exercising 30 minutes a day like when you can barely get out of bed when you don't feel good about yourself, it is often very difficult to do the things that are expected of you or the things that are societally expected of you, the things that you feel society expects of you. And I think that's one of the reasons that I like the goal ideas so much is because some of them are like, connect with a loved one, sleep goals, start a journey, new day, new you. A lot of these goals are things that are very small steps. They're part of the process of getting to having good self-care. Like it's baby steps for a lot of us at the very beginning and I love that this app is so mindful of the fact that so many of us are starting from the beginning when we come from this and obviously you see the little electric bolts you gain points you gain the energy for your finch by doing things for yourself throughout the day and once you I'm going to check off the things that I've done I've done my bird's medicine I've misted them I've gotten their areas set up I did a little bit of decluttering um I put Kiki down for his morning now I keep BM on there because I do track my movements and that's an easy way to do it. If I come to the end of the day and I see the BM is still on my list, I know that I should probably take a stool softener so that I don't feel like crap the next day, literally and figuratively. And I keep stim session on there as well because that's something that I don't necessarily do as intuitively because a lot of stimming was trained out of me as a kid. So like just remembering sometimes listen to loud music, you know, eat foods, things that are going to give me the sensory stimulations that I desire, flapping my hands, dancing around, all of the things that give me joy, allow me to let the emotions out, allow me to cope. Those things are just it's such important reminders to keep around. Um, journaling as well. Journaling is something that has been incredibly beneficial for me. So it is a good reminder. Hey, do this when you're not feeling so great. And I did rest before I came out here. So I'll give myself credit for that too. So you obviously get rainbow stones. That is the currency. And then you get to start an adventure. And that adventure is going to give you like that dialogue that I got when I first logged in, where your finch is going to go out and experience something anew and learn about it and bring it back to you. Like I said earlier, your finch can go to a bunch of different locations while it's on its adventures. Right now, my finch is in Vancouver. There are quests as well. You get um, quest rewards that can give you items. One of the things that I really love about this, so you've got a bunch of different items you can learn. These are for, earn. These are for free players. These are for plus. These are for free players. These are for plus players. Now the cool thing about this app is that you can actually sponsor other people as a paid user. So for me, I sponsor five other people every month, and there is a raffle where people can uh, say, "Hey, like this is an event that I'm really excited about. I don't have the money to afford it this month. Can I get in the raffle to possibly get to possibly be given one of those free plus subscriptions?" I love how they have a mindfulness that not everybody is going to be able to afford it, but that a lot of people are going to want to be able to support others. So the thing that I really love is that if you are a plus subscriber, you only need to be able to do like 25 days out of 
28 to 31 in the month in order to get the, all of the rewards possible. It's one of those things where you don't have to be perfect to get all of the rewards. If you're one of those people that is a completionist and you are going to give up on something the moment you don't have a complete set or things like that, it has a mindfulness that not everybody is going to be able to do everything perfect all the time. And I love that. And I love how every month there is a different event with a cute, you know, with a different aesthetic and things like that. I do want to show off some of the different aesthetic things because I know that's very important to a bunch of people. So let's start out with outfits and you can obviously save a bunch of favorites. So I'm just going to scroll through slowly and you can see some of the outfits like beach fairy. I have got my blue pirate outfit, my brown and red outfit, a uh, cute cottage core, dapper, a uh, monkey, gay 70s, mushroom maiden, paleontologist. There's a lot of different aesthetics and like a lot of different things that you can earn. And what I love is that I've been doing this for what, a year and two months and I still haven't earned nearly any of this, like all of the stuff that I would like. And sure, part of that is because I don't do as much as some people do per day. You obviously get more currency for doing more things. Uh, but even just like, you guys saw the things that I was able to check out. Just my morning routine was enough to count as done for the day. And if you're somebody who is like bed bound, you could do things like, you know, brush my teeth, you know, change my shirt, you know, watch a TV show that I like, call a friend that I like. There are a lot of goals that you can put so that regardless of your ability level you can still complete the daily quests you can still gain all of the different outfits and things like that that you might want and I think that's a really important thing for so many people that don't have a lot of things to look forward to right now because the world is kind of a scary place um, there are also different furniture different things that you can have um, like again, we've got pirate, we've got medieval, we've got something that's more 70s, we've got something that's uh, like fall, like kind of fall cottagecore, uh, we've got superheroes, we've got something that's more like Victorian time travel area, camp, dinosaurs, there are so many different themes and concepts and ideas and it keeps me interested because I'm not focused as much on the fact that I'm doing self-care for myself. I'm focusing on the fact that I want to earn different colors for my finch to be so it can match the outfit that it's wearing and the space that it's in and like the mood that I'm in. I, I love all of the things that are available in this app and all of the different micro pets and just the level of thought and design and just making sure that there are things to do to keep people invested, to keep people interested, to keep people committed to doing this every day. And like I said, it is with a lot of techniques that are actually factually proven by psychologists and psychiatrists to benefit people. Like when I was at my worst, there were things in this app that could benefit me. Now that I'm doing a little bit better, I'm not nearly where I'd like to be, but I can see in this app through like my different progress reports and stuff like that, the way that I'm improving. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to. Sorry, Brendan, I didn't mean to go into your live. And you can set up different journeys. Like one of my journeys is a better self-care. I want to make sure I'm not doing good on this journey. This is the one where I set goals for tomorrow before bed. Not doing the best at that journey. That's fine. Tidy, tidy space, tiny mind. I have different like declutter, organize, put things away. And it, it, these are not necessarily huge tasks. They were when I first started out. But they are things that I can do to make a little bit of incremental benefit. I can see my life steadily getting a little bit better over and over as time progresses. And it's displayed in different ways throughout the, uh, throughout the app. And there is a lot of statistical information about insights, about what things made your day better, about which days you tended to be feeling better, feeling worse, which days you got different goals done. There's a lot of data in here for people who are interested in that stuff to see what kind of things are helping your life versus what things are not helping your life. To see maybe if every single time you hang out with a specific friend, you have a bad day for the rest of the day afterwards. That makes maybe makes you realize maybe this relationship isn't as helpful for me as I thought it was. Again, in this menu that you get to by hitting the icon in the upper right hand corner, you've got a lot of things that are like reflections, breathing, soundscape, movements, acts of kindness, things that are just kind of designed to make you steadily have a better life, to interact with yourself and others more frequently, more compassionately, more positively, to think about yourself in a better way. There are a lot of things that this app has that has benefited me. Um, and it does have quizzes for things like, you know, do you have anxiety? Do you have a depression? Obviously, these are not 
a replacement for a doctor or something like that. But if you're in the early stages of trying to figure out, like, should I see somebody about this? Or is this a situation that I can get out of on my own? This information can be very beneficial to you. And I love the acts of kindness too, because some of these things are just like telling your friends that you're grateful for them. Um, obviously you have the little friends tree here. I have a bunch of different friends. You can interact with your friends. The ones that have the little shiny over them are the ones that I've interacted with. Um, but you can send a variety of good vibes. You can tell your friends that you love their outfits. You can comfort them. You can dance with them. All of these different things. It kind of just gives you another way to branch out, to reach out to people and to interact with your friends. I'm so glad that a lot of my friends are starting to pick up on this app now and then I can just send them flowers and stuff like that. A little, you know, comfort, little item in the game throughout the day. I want to really quickly go back to quests. Obviously, there is like the event that we kind of discussed about a little bit early. You know, there's a seasonal event every single month, but also there are a bunch of different daily quests. There are quests for collecting a bunch of furniture, collecting a bunch of decorations, strengthening your bond, going on a bunch of different adventures. Um, the shop, every day you get some free rainbow stones. So even if you're not necessarily earning as many as you would like, you do get a decent number of free ones each day as well. Um, and that, I just love going to see what's at the store on any given day and trying things on. I don't really see anything here that I want. Is there anything here that I want? Like, uh, let's try on this shirt and see how I like it. Well, that's kind of cute. Um, but you can buy different costumes, you can buy different furniture items from the store, and you can buy different colors for your finch, and then you can also buy different, do different destinations to go to. Like I said, right now I'm in Vancouver. And like I said, I know that there is a lot to this app at first, and I'm kind of glossing over a good number of the features, just going over the things that I think are most beneficial to most people, especially the type of people that watch my channel. And I love that this app just, it gets me thinking about myself in a different way. It gets me thinking about my day in a different way. And it is a lot easier for me to be consistent with this. And what I will say is that there is a debate where people are like, you know, obviously you are keeping yourself accountable, right? You can just check off things that you're not doing and get credit for it and, you know, buy things faster. But like, if that's giving you joy, if that's giving you, like, e even if you're doing like any number of those self-care steps, like any amount of joy or however you use it to make it give you the things that you're looking for it to give you. There are very few rules about how you have to use the app and the app is just so forgiving about just being understanding of like the human condition, especially when you are in most need of self-care. If people want specific guides, if there's something that you have like a question about or things like that, please let me know down below. Like I said, this is something that has just been incredibly, incredibly helpful to me and I really think that it can be helpful to a lot of other people, especially right now when when things on the grander, greater outside world are not necessarily going as well as we would like, focusing in on ourselves, on our immediate surroundings, on our day to day, just one at a time, like just getting through one day at a time is very often the most important step for so many of us. And this app is incredible at getting you to just focus on A, the little gratitudes, the little good things that you have in your life, but also just take it one day at a time. And a lot of us that grew up after the 80s are very motivated by digital currency, digital progress, digital achievements, and things like that. So if you have that gamified mindset already, it can be particularly appealing to you.